2001 and might have actually been even 2000 on the estimate. Around 9-11 it was. Around 9-11. It might have been just maybe months after 9-11. Wow! I, not alone, but I, who met Mr. Yinping before this already. You're talking about the Chinese president, if you don't know who you're talking about. In the U.S., he was in the U.S. Have gone along several American MKUltra staff members. I was subjected to MKUltra, though. But I can recall the staff members, actually. Through the northern side, through the Russian side, we went through the Russian side. It was, according to Americans, for the first time that Americans crossed into North Korea. Through the city known as Hyesan, from the northern side, to North Korea to meet Mr. Kim in the main city Pyongyang we have spent a little time and then we would move to the outskirts of the city Pyongyang when Mr. Kim had his like beautiful palace a big ass palace where he hosted uh, you know like fully for the politicians it was and it was also for like for, for like retreat for the weekends and stuff like that holidays and so on and I can go and I can give you the description of the place if you want in North Korea they have evaluated me on a facial characteristics of the North Korean people, how the, my perception was about them. Um, I can tell you that Mr. Kim was very polite, very, very nice man. Uh, and this is how the North Korea started to obtain American technology assistance, again through to me. I have met his cousin, um, these people were, on, on general, and in China and in Japan, I was extremely well accepted. Uh, people were really polite with me, very polite with me. Um, I got a lot to tell you about my case. But we go back to North Korea. That was one time, this is how Americans got into North Korea. Then, we would return back to the North Korea, but we would use the Chinese site. And I'm going to tell you, if you go to the map, you're going to see it's the city known as Dandong, Dandong along the coast. Uh, in a proximity of that city, we would go inside and out of the North Korea uh, to Kim and they would change, they would give the technology, military, <clears throat> all kinds of technology they would help uh, because they wanted to get whoever had anything that could be potentially bad for the new world order and I'm talking about atomic arsenal with Chinese, Chinese are a superpower uh, they wanted to have on board, if that does make sense. And why this stuff? Why am I talking about this stuff? This stuff is related to the Deutsche Bank, which Trump is suing. And some other issues I have mentioned on the block. Like a two trillion reconstruction contract that Trump successfully signed with Mrs. Palosi. But this lady was involved in MK Ultra, not like involved involved in it, but she knew all about it. 
and the idea behind this was to frustrate me to make me because Mr. Trump promised to Poland not only Mr. Trump but it was also Democratic Party, US Democrat, the leaders of the US Democrat Party they have promised all kinds of goodies a lot of money a package, a real aid package that was lost because of Kaczynski all the way to very today the legacy of Kaczynski was the deadliest legacy that Poland have endured after World War II. This is the man, you know, when they talk about what the income could be in Poland, it would be comparable to the one in Spain. This man screwed up Poland beyond believable. Russians do laundry, money laundry, uh, through Hungary, through the Scandinavian banks and so on, uh, during what is considered to would be considered what is considered actually to be a blockade economic blockade of the Russia because of the war in Ukraine this is what's happening they are washing hundreds of billions of dollars goes through um, investments have investments spurred to Russia for the sake of the wrong reasons I believe for the sake of the neo-nazism and in Poland what's happening it's a starvation of businesses, lack of businesses, because Mr. Kaczynski broke Poland into pieces, sh like into shreds, I would say, with the idea that he's going to select certain shreds out of the picture. DNA is what I'm talking about. Um, which, to him, this is completely okay. And for me, this is something unacceptable. I think Poland is a very beautiful country as it is. Um, and for me personally, it's like uh, all and everything or nothing. This is how I feel about Nobody should be left behind based on his physical appearance, I believe. Everybody should be accepted. Uh, and we should all work together to help one another. Mr. Otto Wernbier, parents, were involved in MKUltra. We met, I don't know, long time ago, maybe in 2005, 2004 maybe. And these people were very interested in North Korea issues along with Mr. Trump. Because Mr. Trump has also hotels. He has construction. He owns hotels, all kinds of shit in China. Where I was taken with him, with Eric. Trump figured out that he can do like play the system like a money system with just by go out there and just award people with money through the scams and that's why I think that the death of Mr. Otto Warnbeer and I didn't say that back then I said something else but what I'm talking about right now I knew everything but I couldn't that time back then when I was writing the news in 2018 I think it was about Mr. Otto Wernbier I couldn't come up with this stuff because I didn't have a proofs about that I have now about MK Ultra. don't think Mr. Otto Wernbier is dead at all I think that Mr. Otto Wernbier if you have paid attention to the whole transaction because this transaction is coming out at the same time as Deutsche Bank it's Deutsche Bank Trump is suing in a crucial moment in a moment when I have explained thoroughly about who Mr. Trump is because Mr. Trump have made shady promises to Poland in respect to my case how the Poland could obtain the money Of course, uh, it was done in a such a way that would be unacceptable for any normal human being. 
they cause waste into you, you know, stuff I have talked about, I'm not gonna go into it right now, think about what was done to me, and so at no surprise he involves a transaction, and I don't know how much you guys have paid, it's not only about two million dollars that United States of America supposedly paid for the auto earned beers, medical bills, so he was released basically dead. It's kind of a crazy shit because it's kind of a related to my case. If you look at my case, what's going on, what they have done to me here. It does a little bit relate to that, not entirely, but just enough that would trigger in someone feeling that, you know, uh, hey man, it's the same thing. Donald Trump kills people and then pays the money out to the parents because if you paid attention to this case, United States of America demanded from North Korea before this transaction, this new uh, news about the last transaction, amount of, I don't know, $500 million or something like this from North Korea. Would this transaction go through? No, it would not go through. Just as case of Mr. Otto Vernbeer is totally fake case. But he could use this case so he could start at this moment, which is a crucial moment, along with the Deutsche Bank, you know, blaming me for his lies, which he have used to suggest to people of Poland, because nothing else, nothing really was true in this whole thing in respect to Trump. Everything was a lie, everything was lie atop of the lie, lie atop of the lie. That is actually my fault that they would not be entitled to, uh, to the money, that it would be a Democrat party that would block the bill now and shit like this. The most important part for the Poland is to not allow a liars to break one in pieces. This is the most important part. And the second most important part is to support the true. The real cause in this case and so that something positive can happen for the country from every aspect. So that something good can be done for the country, something even that pushed investors away from this country can be changed. And I'm talking about the Smolensk plane crash in 2010 that killed about 100 people, which investigation was deliberately delayed for no less than nine years deliberately delayed for no less than nine years even the president's brother was on that plane actually the president was on that plane and his brother was in the main seat here in poland the entire time and before that delayed for nine years deliberately what, as you know, reconstructions of other plane crashes would take like hours when the plane accident happens, like for instance the one in Ukraine, Dutch did, or any other for that matter. Poland deliberately declined to engage in investigation because why? Because if they would come to investigate in Russia, it would be a bow bow. It's a bow bow, is what it is. It's a Ruski. Bow, bow is what it is, and this is what Kaczynski is, and this is what steers people away from Poland, normal people away from Poland. Nobody wants to sit in a plane and end up, look how they ended up, just go and Google plane crash of Smolensk, you're going to see how the people looked like on that plane. They were sent into a flames, literally. So that's all I wanted to clarify. In respect to Deutsche Bank, Donald Trump suggested that the Germans did something to his, not to his father, but to, to, to one of his relatives, grandpa, whatever it was, and it was really bad and stuff like this, and now that he's going to fuck them back and this and that. This is what the news was here in Poland. Outside of the Poland, it was a completely other news. Outside of the Poland is with that other news. He would go and he would set limits. Also, they did use the news, a certain news that's supposed to trigger me and change the side and start to campaign for the Germans and so on. This was 
Dzień dobry. Uh, this was just done like this was just done like I'm gonna have to go to a lunch too. Uh, this was just done like on a heavy uh, you know brainwash brainwash extremely heavy. The name of the bank as you know is a Deutsche Bank and I'm pretty damn sure that because it's a Deutsche Bank the Deutsche Bank might actually even apologize to Mr. Trump and will not release uh, financial information about Mr. Trump and Mr. Trump is going to win over Deutsche Bank but if you did pay attention to Trump what he does is let's say Melania Trump father is ex-KGB assassin from Slovenia Udba assassin literally Udba were assassins like special uh, special division police, secret police that will go really whack people, literally. And the same thing was from Ivanka Trump, uh, father, uh, I mean father, both her fathers of both spouses were professional assassins, Eastern European assassins. They would go kill Czech people, Slovenian people and so on. This is what Donald Trump was motivated to meet and marry. purchased media so called either was whatever media it was whom he have loaded with the money without any doubt um you know when you have a lot of money when you're a billion billionaire club and you got so many channels it's not difficult uh to get certain channels finance someone and pay back favor to whoever is financing uh, on the other from the other side of the world or whatever uh, and you know just a little different story uh, I can actually give a credibility even to somebody like Melania Trump so the news media outlets would go out there and actually even apologize for saying what they said basically give a credibility to assassin daughter of, of KGB assassin and shit like this. This is how he built his stuff. And this is what Donald Trump is. That's why this stuff is important foremost for the Polish community to understand uh, what exactly is going on here in this case. Uh, with Democrat Party, with Mrs. Pelosi, you all knew about this stuff. All in respect to Deutsche Bank, uh, all in respect to Mr. Otto Warnbier. Again, most likely the man is not dead. Most likely he's not dead. And it's again about the money. And probably even something that would not go through maybe or something like this that would be used then to suggest Polish people. Well, we couldn't have it done. We couldn't help and so on. Polish community just got the stick. Would it true? and believe in something that they claim to believe because this is what matters more than than the money for the churches which is also very important what matters the most is what those churches serve to whom those churches serve to as you can give the money for something that can be built but could see itself in a totally different light from uh, what the case should be that's all I gotta say for this video oh yes indeed I was also in South Africa I am one of the few people who met Eugene Terreblanche and Nelson Mandela but this is gonna be reserved for some other video MK Ultra around elite politicians uh, is a quite an experience, but I deem that just one experience I have undergone for God knows how many experiences like this between '95 all the way to 2017 believe me it 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 would most likely break people 
uh, psychologically really if they would not have um, well, it takes a whole lot to survive the stuff like this and I was thinking about today and sometimes I was laughing and sometimes I'm laughing sometimes I'm wondering about all this how I made it through I am not a Harry Potter that some people compared me to um, a Harry Potter this is a pot crack pot stuff in which I do not see myself in fact I have never smoked pot I have never drank alcohol my consumption even of coffee did not exist before like I'm gonna say sometimes in 2010 something like this so that's all I want to say for this video.